Aries. Hello. Welcome to your energy check-in. As you guys know, it's my pleasure to read for you. As always, um, if you'd like to have a personal reading or healing session, uh, please do reach out. You can find my Etsy page. And just so you know, uh, I usually give a divine grace period of two weeks, and it just always shakes out that way, just so spirit can work its divine timing. So please know that ahead of time. It doesn't have to take two weeks, but I've found that there's something in terms of like the manifestation and the lessons that need to be learned on my part before I get to your, you know, it's just all that good stuff. So just keep that in mind. Um, also, this may for right now be the last quote unquote zodiac reading I do. From now on, I'm really going to try to focus on just doing energy check ins. And so please feel free to look at that unless spirit guides me otherwise. So um, anyway, just uh, all the archives that uh, I have on my YouTube page, go ahead and just don't worry about the sign, okay? Don't worry at all. If it, uh, if the title resonates for, me, for you, even if it's like from two years ago, just go with it. All right, ooh, that's, what is that? That's strong, ooh, something's coming in for you. Okay, guys, they're saying that something, yes, yeah, something's definitely coming in for you, Aries, but it's already here and it's right underneath your feet. I don't know what that is, but we're just gonna go ahead and put it there. Ooh, in order to see what this is, you're going to have to change your perspective. Youch. Now, why am I saying youch? Um, well, because um, it's a mixture of ouch and yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, here we have the sixth ray of harmony, fourth ray of harmony coming through with the six. I do feel that this is give me vibes. Like you've been activated by someone or something that has come into your life. And it's like, ah, right? You may have opened your doors to someone or something um, that came in and it's like, ah, look at how it's really just resonating and emanating from out of your, your you're like ver reverberating. Look at that. You're like, zzz, and then, zzz. so I don't know what it is that you may have just gone through, but I, I love how spirit's trying to downplay it right now. I love how they're trying to downplay it and I'll show you how. Here's the evolution card. It's like, Yay, I'm evolving, dun, 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 karmic clearing. Somebody arrives or something, but I'm just going to say somebody arrives and they seem like God's gift from heaven, from the tax board, from the police department, from, you know, wherever, whoever this is, they seem, they came in um, seeming like they were God's gift to you in whatever area of your life you needed a gift to happen. And as we know, when it comes to... Uh, they're saying Haley's Comet. Ooh, God is good. So they're saying Haley's Comet because they're saying you'll know who or what this thing is because it'll be like out of left field. Like I don't usually do this thing, but I did this. And it quote unquote blew up. It quote unquote gave me all these lessons. However you want to describe it is up to you, but it created a shift in your life. I feel that you're, you're receiving something. It, so it's already here and I do feel it's related to this person or whatever it is that came in but you're gonna need to shift your perspective in order to see who or what this thing is. The way they're giving it to me, it's like imagine if someone comes into your life or right, and they come in, in this big metal ball and the ball just rolls in and it steamrolls you three minutes, 33 seconds. Of course, you're going to be like, ouch, ow, that ball looked like something I could use and something that would be awesome. And then it steamrolled me and I got this broken leg and now it hurts and I don't know what I'm doing. But then while you're getting up, trying to dust yourself off, trying to, you know, put a splint on your leg, you start to see this ball open up. It's like, zzz, 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 zzz. and inside of it is something. It's this, whatever this is. But if you're still angry that you got steamrolled with the way that it approached into your life, guess what? You're going to struggle to see the thing that's actually inside for what it is. All right, I do wanna show you what's on the bottom of this deck here. It is the Dark Angel card. So this is acknowledging that things may not have gone right whenever this influence came into your life. Four minutes, 22 seconds. I wanna do a little magic is how I feel they wanna do. They're like zzz, and it's almost like Whatever's going to replace this card is something else. Oh my God, stop it. I was going to do this card underneath, but they're pulling that card. <gasps> stop your freaking lies, you guys. Oh my God, stop it. I'm just kidding, God, not you guys, but four minutes, 44 seconds. Take a look, because I was literally going to pull this up for the next card, but my hand got, quote unquote, stuck on this card, and you saw me moving it. But look at this card. This is actually a card that says, 
um, when I read, it's always my disconnect from the masculine card. So I started pulling, I was like, oh, okay, oops, maybe it's this card. And I went and I pulled, you know, and I, I, I didn't even like talk about sleight of hand. All right, so Spirit is saying, listen guys, see this is why I shuffle on, on camera now because I never used to, if you followed me from back in the day, I never used to shuffle on camera because I was lazy. I just put it out and then I started, but I apparently people doubt that you shuffle, anyway, whatever. But you see the magic, how it works. So um, quote unquote magic, um, it's weird because it's almost like I just did this and it's almost like saying if I hit two times, what is that song? Knock three times, what is it? On the ceiling if you wanna, sorry. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. If the answer is no, what is it? Knock on, twice, I don't know, whatever. Knock two times, three times, anyway. Anyway, it's like magic. It, when you knock on something, it like, it's like, pfft. and look, you know what they're saying? Ask nicely. Ooh, six minutes, six seconds. There's the six and the soulmate. Here's the now what card. So some of you, six minutes, 11 seconds, some of you have definitely, all right, let's take a step back. Some of you, somebody arrived in your life in some way, shape, and form to give you a gift in a certain area of your life, to help transform you in a certain area of your life. Again, it doesn't have to be romantic. It could have been somebody that came and you thought it was going to be like, oh my God, here's my husband. Or, oh my God, here's the real estate person of my dreams to help me get that house. Oh my God, here's the nicest tax lady I've ever, nicest tax lady I've ever met. And she gave me her her extension so she's like now we're buddies and she's gonna help me with all my forms and she works at the IRS but then what happened is it turned it and turned into some kind of nightmare for you but really it wasn't a nightmare it feels like a nightmare probably for some of you it still does um, but it they were a catalyst but you didn't really see who this person really was and you won't be able to until you ask nicely is what I'm saying. So it's like, I remember the ball that we're showing, like let's say you, you, you knock on it cause it, you know, you knock on, you're like, excuse me, you broke my leg. And then it starts to open and then you start to see, whoa, there's something else inside of there. Now spirit is saying it's already in your life. So I honestly don't feel like this is something that is new to your life after watching this video. I feel like it's something that's in your life and it's something that, um, like they said, you would know. What did they say earlier? Haley's Comet. Because this person coincides with a certain type of behavior that you would never do in a million years. It's almost like I did the opposite of what I would have done. You know, I, I tried something new and it blew up in my face. Um, but this person or influence is about to reveal itself to you if you quote unquote ask nicely. Now, translating that energy into the physical if on this level, what that would look like is like saying, for example, you know what? I, I miss this person's friendship, for example. I'm going to reach back out to them. You know, that's asking nicely. Whereas in your mind, you're like, this bastard, <laughs> you know. <laughs> or just whatever you want to use, whatever. Um, but in a more serious way, it's like, it's almost like spirit wants you to miss this person or miss this influence, like for real. Because when we actually get into a place where we can recognize the loss of something, it's because it means that, well, I acknowledge that it had some type of positive impact in my life and I actually wasn't able to see the value, but now I actually want it. And so, well, I'm going to, well, you know, I'll see what's up with it still. And then I'll double back and say, hey, you know, now this is not telling you to double back and just be like, hey, ex who cheated on me with, and has five baby mamas and like, please, just, you'll just never get that on this channel. I just want you to know. So before you start daydreaming about it, um, but you understand my point. So Spirit has, drop, has dropped a lot of Easter eggs. Um, again, that's the second they, they keep sliding that little Easter reference in. This is the second Easter reference they've said in my presence. So, okay, I hear you about March, okay. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, so I guess you guys are like, well, what is this? Ooh, you know what? It's funny because I was like, if I turn this over and get the Dark Knight of the Soul, and I know I, it couldn't be the challenge card. Oh, I could have sworn the challenge card is on here. Oh, this, the dark, oh, we did, we did. Didn't we get the other card, which is like, dark angel it was like i don't know anyway it doesn't matter this is my challenge card it's kind of like but you know whenever i see this it gives me like that eight of swords like what am i looking at 
look at me struggling. You, you're struggling. You're struggling to see what that thing truly is. And the reason why you can't see it, Spirit is saying, is because your perspective, your perception is off. The only way that you're going to be able to experience 10 minutes, 10 seconds, what this person really is, are they a player or are they really the one? Is this person working with the IRS to nab you once you give them your real details? Or are they really just that buddy, that person you bumped into while getting lunch and they really are genuine, they want to help you and you should trust them, right? You can't know that until you clear your stuff, clear your anger, clear your, your um, lack of self-forgiveness, all of this stuff, because that's clouding you. But I do want to say it seems pretty significant that we've got this, um, this, uh, six, um, excuse me, I keep wanting to say sixth ray, this fourth ray of harmony coming through. That's my soulmate card, right? This openness, if you want to have an open door extended towards you, you have to be open. So you're going to have to learn to trust. And at the very least, I think we can all agree that whoever this person, place, thing, or situation is, whatever this influence was, knocked you into shape. Uh, knocked you into shape, didn't it? Right? And that's the idea. It showed you your, your stuff. It showed you your... You know, are you mad at it because it hurt or are you mad at this person or this influence because it showed you the real real about who you are and you, you didn't like it? Oh, I am a manipulator. Oh, I do lie. Oh, I was not in my integrity, right? And I'm just saying, <laughs> look, don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> um let's let's get some cards here they're like let's get some karmic cards okay you guys can take that whatever it means for you sure <laughs> one oh god i can already feel you can't see what these cards mean oh you can't see what these cards mean you're you're going to be incapable of seeing what these cards mean and i'm going to tell you that right now if this reading is for you because you still need to clear your perception Oh, stop look at them now they're just trolling us with these glasses clear your perceptions they're like go ahead and clear those cards okay okay i clear it i clear it right now because it's like why bother why why not that not that they're saying why waste their time <laughs> but why they, they, you can't see it so let's put it over here what are these you won't be able to see whatever you think you're looking at on earth right now oh my god Look at that. Yeah, eight of voices. This is the this is the eight of swords energy. Right? This is that energy that um, requires you to have a, pers a shift in perspective. It's obsessive thoughts. It's imprisoned thoughts. It's it's the it, it, it's a it's a OK, it sucks. But I will tell you this. The beautiful nuance of this card is that you need only change your perception in order to get out of it. That's the nuance. It's not like the nine of swords where you're crying in the car, crying in the shower, where you're just like wanting to jump off a cliff or roll under your own tires. It's not even like that. Although I'll tell you what, it feels like that. But the thing is that this, you just need a shift, a shift. And they're like, do you want us to send someone or something else in, in addition to this, to kind of shift you? And as far as I'm concerned, listen, I'll work it out on my own. I don't know. Wow, look at that. Six of Swords, Muse of Emotions, okay? So these two cards are coming right here on, the, um, on this little soulmate card. But remember, you can think about the soulmate card. It suddenly gave me vibes as invitation to, yeah. Oh, because yeah, I want to say invitation to um, connect, but they're saying invitation to inquiry. And I love to use those words. That's basically like, hey man, um, you got to look inside. This is your opportunity to look on the inside and see what's going on. Inquire about what's going on with you, right? Whew. How do you feel about moving forward as well, right? How do you feel about letting go? These are the kinds of things you want to ask yourself. Um, am I, is it easy for me to let go? Uh, do I feel like I'm letting go or of a certain identity if I do that? Or do I think that I'm adopting an identity of myself that I don't want to be, as, I, that I don't want? In other words, if I let this person go, does that mean something negative about me? right so you have to really face yourself and really ask yourself how open am i to actually moving forward in my in in um 
my best interest. Now look at this muse of emotions. The first thing I've, I'm kind of getting here is you have to want it. It has to be an emotion that occurs naturally to you. Now to move on, that is, see how the blue is here? You, you gotta be blue-minded in a sense. <laughs> now what that means in this reading, because outside of this reading means nothing, <laughs> but in this reading it's kind of like, it looks like a suitcase. Now you have to want to pack up, you have to want to move on, you have to want to start something new, that fool energy, all of that, because of you. It can't be because I want to rendezvous with this person or I want to re-engage with this lesson they're saying, oh, they're so bad. They, yeah, they're like, it'll come back right around and that ball and steamroll you. And if you don't knock, knock it off, they're saying, if you don't knock out all of these low vibe thinkings, and in fact, you don't, don't act like we didn't see that queen of swords get it, who needs to come in and, you know, cut some cords and stuff. But, um, this is, oh, fool card, see? <laughs> this is about you really needing to give up the ghost or saying. So some of you are being required to give something up, could be very well this person. And it's not even like, it's, all, it's almost like, I don't know. I don't want to say, oh, it's kind of like they want to see, can you give this person up or can you give up this opportunity, whatever it is, in order to commit to yourself? And if the answer is yes, I know that might be hard, right? But what if the answer you finally reach to is yes, I am, and you actually for reals, reals mean it, and you take the action steps and it occurs. Maybe then spirit is like, just kidding. We actually didn't want you to. We just wanted to see if you could do it. And that was it. I'm not saying that's the case, but you have to get to that point. It's kind of like when people say, I'm going to clean up my house. Yeah, when you say clean up, do you mean like top to bottom clean or like clean like you're going to be moving out of that place soon? That's a different kind of clean. What if spirit is like, I need you to clean your house like you're moving. But you're like, but am I moving? But I don't want to move. Or I can I? Can I afford it? It doesn't matter. Clean it up like you're getting ready to move. Act like you mean it is what spirit is saying in that case, okay? Oh, gosh, they got me got me out here like this my nails all semi done and you know <laughs> they're so funny they're like no you got you out here <laughs> my bad you guys it's in the middle of like libra season and i've got so many libra placements maybe that's why i have nail polish on but i look it's it, i'm struggling <laughs> all right trust in the magic watch and wait this doesn't mean watch and wait like I'm going to wait and see if this person comes back and I'm going to watch out for them or no, it means trust in the magic and let spirit look at that double six trust in the magic. Let spirit show you how this can go. I do feel that spirits coming through with the tower lesson. They're saying not even I, I want to say tower moment, but tower lesson they're saying. So the, ooh, there's a lesson here. If you have not moved on yet, they're saying they're going to have to quote unquote shower you. Ha! Huh. Shower you. I just heard shower me with your love. But then I also heard shower you with blessings. But then I was like, why are you replacing the word tower with shower? Is it because you're going to rain a whole bunch of little towers upon us? Like, I don't trust there, you know, <laughs> I do, but I don't, <laughs> but I do, but I don't. Okay, guys, I really do. But you know, I don't when it comes to pain. I don't know. I think they'll do what needs to be necessarily done. And I, I, I overcome any obstacle. And they're like, see, he's got little towers on his. No, I don't know, guys. Listen, I'm just saying, but they're saying that it's going to be great, whatever it is. Now, listen, I'm just going to put it out there. I don't know, guys. Look, I'm the channel, but like I'm reading this just, I'm receiving this just at the same time as you. So I'm having my doubts. Watch and wait, they're saying, but I know they like to inflict <laughs> in the name of learning. <laughs> but they're saying this is going to be good. The result is going to be good because um but it feels like there's a little bit of a surprise <gasps> maybe they're right maybe this is going to be good whatever is going to happen is going to help push you into this perspective that you need to be able to see this person maybe this person's going to come to you and be like hey i just want to talk to you for a second you know i'm sorry or you know, I don't know. Maybe it's really going to be like a 
tower shower of blessings. I don't know, guys. You must let me know. You know my email. Anywho, I'm not going to act like I didn't see this card at the bottom of the deck. Set healthy boundaries. I am getting Christmas time again. Christmas time keeps coming up. The end of December keeps coming up. And the reason why I feel is because I feel that a lot of us are going to have an opportunity to re kindle let's say with the lesson now whether the lesson is rekindled with the same person or with somebody 20 minutes 20 seconds that represents the same lesson again it doesn't matter but the point is that you want to remember to set healthy boundaries so pay close attention make sure that you're using all the skills that you um, have learned or, or have been presented with on a very visceral level so <laughs> ouch right Anyway, so Aries, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Oh, well, no, they're saying the now what card is on the, on here. Okay, well, I feel like we already answered the now what card, but let's go ahead and pull one more card. Yeah, because it's like now what? Okay. There we go. Oh, alignment, bottom of the deck. We've got initiation by air gotta surrender some of you need to surrender 21 minutes and 11 seconds some of you are carrying this idea that whoever this is is the devil maybe you need to surrender those ideas either way whatever you're surrendering you gotta like it's not even about like you cannot see whatever this thing is whoever this person place thing or situation don't, don't even try to see them at this time so set health, healthy boundaries means to kind of take a step back you may be asked to take time off i mean it is retrograde season guys don't do that to yourself take take a step back because you know it's the time when we get back in with our exes and all of that now you need to um, focus on releasing your stuff so that your perceptions can change your perspective can change once you get through like your self-forgiveness get through the guilt and that shadow stuff then you'll be in a good position to actually i guess acknowledge whatever this thing is right fact it comes through at the same color alignment 22 minutes 11 seconds all right i'm gonna go ahead and end this reading now guys <sighs> if you would like to have a personal reading with me or an energy healing session please do um hit up hit up my etsy page until then have a blessed day oh and thank you to those of you who have donated you'll find that link at the bottom as well thank you